Welcome back to Sturgeon Bay. This is episode 9, and in this episode, um, let's get this out of the way right away, we are going to be um, detailing and sort of completing the rest of this industrial park right here. And I think, like I said in the last episode, I think it turns out just really well. It's a, it's a great looking industrial park. Um, so let's get right into the action here. So as you can see, I'm using the... Uh, um, surface painter mod, I almost forgot the name of it because it's just second nature to use at this point to kind of create a little gravel turnaround back here for let's say trucks that would need to go back here or something for, you know, for some reason. Uh, so I, I take some kind of dirt and mud decals and uh, put them in there and um, I, I, I think I decide that uh, I don't really need the decals, I don't know, I think I keep a couple of them but I wanted to just add something and I ended up not really, you know, it's all the same decal. It doesn't look, doesn't look the best, but uh, what I do here, and I think I end up doing this for the next couple of minutes is probably what it does, is I'm placing just these uh, road stain decals on the, uh, all over the road. And they're all kind of oriented the same way, so it's, uh, you know, it's a little repetitive if you look closely. But if you don't look closely, it does just look like a stained road, and, you know, that's obviously what I'm going for there. So I, I think that it, uh, it, it it ends up being fine. Uh, I, I don't know why I put that uh, trailer there. It doesn't really have a container on it. Or Do I put a container on it? I don't know. At this point, this was recorded, I think about a month ago now um, and I'm sorry I, it's been another few weeks since the last episode you know uh, things come up I had I have to I have a job that I had to deal with uh, and still will have to be dealing with it but I mean that that's fine um, but I just wanted to have kind of like a little lot next to the um, factory here where there's not like a lot of stuff going on but you have like a dumpster you have some trucks parked there just to kind of add to the feel of it uh, like as I've said before and you know I'm sorry that I feel like my commentary does get really repetitive uh, putting something makes more sense than putting nothing uh, you know I want to put some pallets there too and stuff um, but anyways yeah th this uh, episode I'm like actually really glad that I've been able to get through as much of this uh, city as I have um, and, you know, like, even after this, I still have a, a couple more episodes recorded uh, in advance here. And hopefully I can get those edited fairly soon. Um, oh, gosh, I don't really know what to talk about with this industrial park that I didn't talk about yesterday while I'm working on the old bits of it. Well, not yesterday, but you know what I mean, last episode that I didn't talk about because, um, you know, I, I just really like what I was, uh, what I was able to do with it all. And so it's like, well, you know, what else can I say? I'm trying to find a place for this sign. I don't think I end up finding a spot for it. Um, I just haven't really had a chance to use them. I think, yeah, I use that no U-turn there. Just cover up that ugly little speed marker sign. You know, the vanilla signs are never great, but that, that's uh, that's how that is. And one thing you're going to notice, I think, in the thumbnail that you're not seeing right now is there is a large amount oh my gosh discord notification let me let me go on do not disturb here um sorry about that there is a large amount of pine trees that you will see in the um in the thumbnail and you won't see those yet but as you can see here i'm actually kind of putting those in now i start by putting down like some pine bushes pine shrubs and stuff or you know kind of cut down bits of pine tree uh, and, and then I add, you know, a lot more, you know, bigger pine trees. And, and the reason I did that, um, I realized I had a big lack of pine trees in the city, which there would be a lot more than I currently had because um, this is in the Midwest, particularly Wisconsin, and we do have a very large amount of pine trees. So while, yes, the majority of the trees on the map are deciduous and will continue to be i definitely feel like adding all these spruce trees and pine trees uh, makes a noticeable difference especially to this area uh, and i really like how it looks with those uh, rocks on the shore too like that's just so good looking and you still have a few coniferous trees uh, sprinkled in there but I, I feel like this just adds to the look of it 
being as north as it is. And I'm probably going to have more areas where I specifically detail with, um, you know, certain tree varieties and such. Um, but this is an area that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to focus on being conifers. And it, it, it looks really good. There's definitely spots like right here where I could have done something a little bit more interesting than just more trees along the road. But, um... I mean, in the end, I'm, I mean, I'm very happy with what I was able to build, and I expand kind of the whole use of all the trees through, um, through basically the area where I end up building the rest of the industrial park, which you'll see, and that's actually, I would maybe say it's a little bit better than what I built last episode, just by merit of kind of how dense it is instead of all spread out big empty things because like you have a few big uh, factories and what we did last time but I think what I'm gonna I think I'm about to start it here and you can kind of you're able to tell though that there's like definite blight in the industrial area still and uh, what, is, what is this here this uh, yield decal yep because I want you to yield for the railroad so that's fine but um Anyways, I think I might take a little bit of a break from the commentary here and just pop back in in a few minutes and explain what's going on because this episode is longer than I think I normally do and I don't know how I could uh, talk to you guys for that long. So I will be back momentarily. Uh, please enjoy. <laughs> And I'm back. All right. So what's going on on the uh, on the screen now for you is I'm putting up some logos of uh, whatever company this would happen to be um, around this factory here because I wanted to add some small little level of detail. And how I did that was I just found a sign, which took a while. It, it took a while to find one that I really liked because I didn't want to have it just be like an advertisement for the company or something that wouldn't have a factory like that. So I just picked that one that said, I think it said Sparks, and I'm like, well, okay, I don't know what this means. I don't know what they would probably do, but I'm going to put it here and just, um, you know, it's a little logo that can go kind of on sides of the building, and I think that's fine. And I think you also saw I put down a sort of 
I don't know if it'd be a tank for oil or what, but some sort of tank next to it. And I think that, again, just kind of adds to put something in there. I put a bunch of grass between the railway tracks and put some bear trees in the middle of all of that. And I think that, again, that this does, uh, does some good stuff for us. I need to use more of the bear trees as well. Um, you know, not overly heavily, but, you know, at least a good bit. Because they do help to definitely... There's just something about seeing all the branches that is really good, I, I guess I would say. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can see here now I'm finally starting to work on filling out more of the industrial park. So I just started along the side of the one uh, big road or whatever where I put in some more little like warehouses and light industrial stuff just to kind of start things off. Uh, and then I tried to find a space for that warehouse and it was a little bit difficult, but why, what I eventually end up doing is you see here is I make a road back here and that road is going to be kind of the main road where a lot of the little light industrial parts are going to be and I think it comes out very very nicely in the end uh, because there's you know buildings that look like they're still active buildings that don't and they're all kind of together in this little this little area um, and that's and that's nice because like it's not supposed to be a great a great place and you can see here I'm just adding some roads down I didn't know how much of that space I was going to use as an industrial park um, it's not nearly as much of it as I thought I would but you know I, I fill in at least kind of this whole block here with warehouses like this and uh, do I end up keeping that one or do I delete it I don't know I think I, yeah yeah I get rid of that one because I want it to all kind of stay as one you know basic road network there so here's uh here's a warehouse here i put a couple back on this road too um as a little side road or whatever but um anyways this uh warehouse lot here it's from the industries dlc and like like i've said before the the stuff in the industries dlc just looks so good but then you, you would have for you know example how i said about buildings looking kind of like they're not used often like this one that wouldn't probably be used it could be uh, in just a very dilapidated state but that's kind of what you get back here because this is not like a very appealing sort of road it's sort of a back road of the city um and i and, and i like that but things aren't too close together but they're not too far apart this would definitely have been part of something that was at one point a larger industrial area i guess i would say like there would have been a lot more going on here like you can see that building in there that looks almost like a downtown building that i put down and then you have these really small light industrial things that just they're nice they're small uh i, I like them i like having nice small light industrial buildings and that for a long time was always one of the biggest challenges for me in the city of skylands was being able to find good light industrial buildings because I, I couldn't find quite what I was looking for. The vanilla assets are all pretty bad industrial wise I would say. Um, you know unless you combine them like I did in the last episode. But you know having something that small where it's not huge smokestacks and stuff and it's maybe just a little office with like a couple like a, a couple loading docks or something in the back just something very inconspicuous. I, I think it's great to have that. And I couldn't figure out what I was going to put in this space here. So, uh, I put a Harley dealership. In Wisconsin, we have a lot of Harleys. Because Harley Davidson is from here. So that's that's where it is. And then something else in this space. Uh, I, just, I just throw in a Wendy's. Uh, because I figure, hey, uh, why not? Oh yeah, this love. This is a fun little asset that I just put down. The you love no lines auto registration. It's so like illegit. Like it would be so illegit, like as a real thing. But it's just it, it's it's funny. I love it. Um, I take this road in here as kind of like a little access road to the Harley and the and the Wendy's. And this definitely wouldn't be like the nicest place to have like a whole bunch of businesses because it is in the industrial area. So that's why it's really just the two here. You have the Harley, which, you know, it's an industrial-ish area in an industrial state. So, I mean, sure. I mean, I, I, I would personally think as, of motorcycles as being like 
a, a tough guy thing. And that's what you would find in an industrial area. I, I'm not going to put like a Ford dealership next to a giant factory. Like that wouldn't make sense. But a uh, Harley, now you're talking something different. Slightly. I don't know. I don't make sense to myself either. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, the Wendy's in here. I just use the trick I always use where I have a road half clipping into it to make the sort of a drive through. A uh, little parking lot next to it. And really that's the extent of it. Um, and, then I, and then I make a cul-de-sac here and I have a fun way that I make just cul-de-sac like this I just make it a nice concrete blob and I get it as tight as I can and really it's uh, it's good nice to look at uh, anyways I think I will leave you for a moment again and I will pop back in in a little bit I uh, hope you enjoy the next few minutes So as you can see, uh, now I'm, I'm back and I'm beginning to build this uh, high school here, but I just want to talk about what I was doing. As you saw, I ended up putting down all of those stain decals that I, um, that I mentioned earlier. I thought I did that earlier on because I had started doing it, uh, but I guess I ended up doing it right there, so th that's fine. And... Oh, what else was I going to mention? Okay, well, I don't know. I'll think of it. But anyways, we're going on to this uh, high school here now, and this is just what I thought could best kind of divide the space between the industrial area and whatever else would be out this way. So I have a little bit of forest buffering between the industrial and the school, and then a little bit more forest buffering from the school after that. And this isn't meant to be kind of the greatest looking school in like the greatest neighborhood so the field i put down it doesn't have like stands or anything it doesn't have goal post it's just a, it's just a field with a track around it it's very simple 
Uh, I make a little bit of a, you know, bustling here for students to get picked up and dropped off. Um, and, and that's fine. You know, it's, that's a thing that you're going to have. Um, but I like just having it kind of on a small road like this where cars can't really get around you, if that makes sense, because it takes up the whole thing. Whereas instead, in where the, in the places that I went to, the buses come into the school area directly. But this is just on the road, like, actually that's right by the school and I think I think it's better because it's not like it feels more kind of included in everything else going on like I said I never make sense to myself either don't don't worry about it I I'm bad at communication all right communication is hard uh, small little parking lot there not you know a whole lot of people would have cars because like it's not supposed to be a greatest area so some of the people might walk or have to take the bus instead of every student taking a car to school and I initially pondered putting in just a small little worn out field like that, but I'm like, no, 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 that's, you know, that's not good enough for them. And this one looks way too good. <laughs> you know, they want nice things, but I can't give that to them. So I tried to put the other field on top of it and it didn't work. I probably could have made it work, uh, but I didn't, I didn't want to bother. And of course the, the trees stuck in the field there, got rid of those. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. You have the grass already looks like it's worn and there's not like field markings, like yardage and stuff. So, I mean, it's fine. It doesn't look great, but that's the idea. It's not supposed to look super exquisite. Um, and yeah, that really finishes up the little high school build over here. Uh, I, had, I had fun with it. And this is, yeah, this is like the north part of the city, uh, kind of. This is, so this is the north high school, um, at least for the city proper. And I have these fun little assets I can put in there for being like the the symbol of it. So these are the North High School Knights. And that, that's uh, that's their school. Um, but anyways, now we're going to go on to making the like sewage plant and uh, tank farm. And I, I just think it ends up looking so good. So what I do, what I did is I took the um, the rail line that I had going up there. And as you can see, oh wait, do I put something in right there? No, oh, I guess I did. Um, and as you can see, I tried to fit in kind of as big of tanks as I can at first and then bring it in and slowly start putting in smaller ones so it's not all just big tanks and I can, f you know, fill the space a lot better. And I, I think it just, it, it's actually, it, it's actually great to be able to have the tank farms. I've never done something like a tank farm in this game before. So I was absolutely completely winging this um but i personally think uh that i did a okay job at it and i'm i'm happy with it but along the uh yeah so i aligned the road with how the rail line would go so it would be parallel to it and i think that that's very nice um just a nice little touch it is you know it isn't just like looking parallel i made it actually be parallel um, but the rail line doesn't end up actually continuing on. Like, you'll, you'll see, I think, what I do to it. Um, I mean, I know what I do to it, but I think you'll see. What I end up doing is I take gravel from the surface painter and I, like, continue it in the path of where the, um, where the, where the, uh, where the railroad would have gone as being kind of like a sort of reminder of where there was tracks that are now abandoned and torn up and yeah, yeah here I'm doing it and that's the thing that I did you know earlier on too and I may have done that in the last episode I don't quite remember but I just think that that is a great tactic to look like something was there but is now gone or abandoned and it's uh it's really great. I actually had, you know, I showed someone this before and they said that that was really a good use of that. That it was a great little tactic that I was able to do and that really made me happy to hear because I, um, I had thought of that fairly early on as like a thing that I can do and uh, I did it and apparently it's good. So that make that makes me happy. But yeah, anyways, beyond the, beyond the tank farm there, um, it becomes a, the, becomes the build for the sewage treatment area here. I put down the administrative building and kind of like, I think, I, I think that's like the whole filtration thing. I don't know. And then you have the circular things. I don't know what any sewage thing, I don't know what they do, but all I know is that I'm building it uh, and it looks good. 
And obviously I don't want citizens going in and drowning in all the sewage, so I surround it with a fence. Um, you know, just, just to be on the safe side, and also because fences are fun to work with in this game, and I don't do it nearly enough, but they're, they're fun. I like them. But what do I fit in there? Like, how do I fit something in that case? Oh yeah, I use a small one? Okay. And I like how I squeezed it really close by to the highway, um, as, because this, it, it fills in that space instead of me just having to plop in more random trees. There's actually like things to go on going on like directly by the highway um, instead of separated from it. I think it's good because it makes it feel like the highway was built um, after the city instead of the other way around where the city was built around the highway, um, which is a big differentiating factor between whether part of a city was like built after the interstates came or before. And we're going to say that obviously this industrial park area was here beforehand. Maybe the sewage plant is a bit newer and all, and all that. But the fact that it is kind of still squished by the interstate um, goes to show that basically, like, they didn't plan it around the highway. They planned the highway around this. More or less level of planning, really. Because when they put interstates in all the cities, they did end up demolishing a lot of stuff and just messing up spaces for a, lo a lot of people. Um, so, you know, that's that, that's fun. Thanks, America. But, yeah, we have the one big tank there and a bunch of smaller ones. And there's the screen facility, the administrative facility. And it's all just along this little road, and this is a nice little city service area. And I don't know, I do have some more room in that area that I might do another city service. Like, maybe I could put a, a garbage area there. I don't know. I'm eventually going to do something like that, like a big garbage area and a big, I think a big jail area. But those are way down the road, and I haven't even considered what I would do for that or how I would do it. Uh, there's uh, other priorities right now. Um, so the next episode after this one, I will tell you right away, that is going to be the first... Or is it... Wait, hang on. I think I got this right. I believe next episode is the first college in the city. It's either that episode or the one after it, and then the other one is just neighborhood expansion. Either way, a lot of neighborhood expansion goes on, and by the end of episode 11, you will see that the downtown area, and I guess to an extent the industrial park, because it's kind of connected to the downtown, that all ends up being linked um, all the way to the other highway over by Fox Grove, because I finally connect all the neighborhoods with neighborhoods and stuff. And, like, it just, I, I just took a walk, well, not a walk, but, you know, I, I, metaphorical walk, like, I just went to free camera mode or whatever yesterday, just kind of drove around through those streets and just got, like, absolutely lost and mesmerized, but, like, oh my gosh, I built this, it looks so good, and then you just look up from within the neighborhood and you see the skyline in the distance and it's like, I, I'm satisfied. I like where this has been heading, I like where it looks like it's going to head, um, and obviously, like, I'm still not the best at putting out content on a regular basis, but I feel like if I can put out content, as long as I enjoy making it and don't feel stressed to make it, uh, that's gonna help us get better products like what these past couple episodes have been. And, uh, I, I think things are looking good. We're nearly a year already, um, into this series. I think it's about ten months now. Um, and I, I want to keep doing this. I want, I want to keep doing this city to the point where I actually manage to finish it, um, which is a thing I don't often really get to do. But with that being said, uh, I am we're getting to the end of the episode here, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and you know say my usual shtick. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing, I would really appreciate that. You can check out my Twitter. You can leave any suggestions you have. I read all my comments. I appreciate all my comments because uh, I'm such a small YouTuber. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.